Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse who I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe. Hey everybody, welcome back to another stout review. Uh, going through the stouts from the awesome Illinois box from my man Nick. Uh, another new brewery alert on the channel. Uh, Penrose Brewing, I think it's what... Let's see here. Penrose Brewing, Geneva, Illinois. Again, don't know where that is. Um, this is called Double Barrel Caves. We had a barrel-aged Imperial Stout from Riverlands last night, and it was awesome. Um, so I'm very much looking forward to this barrel-aged Imperial Stout, which is, per the label, 13% alcohol by volume, but comes in a much more user-friendly package, 12-ounce can. <laughs> that was The last one was a 14.5% bomber. It's good times. So... Uh, this says Imperial Stout aged for 11 months in local bourbon barrels, then transferred to Kentucky bourbon barrels and aged for an additional 22 months. So 33, almost three years of barrel aging for this beer, which is wild. That is a long, long time. Um, much like Riverlands, I didn't look anything up about Penrose. I don't know anything about them. I will let those of you who are watching this tell me about them if you know of them and are fans of them. Um, the couple people who I asked about this brewery didn't know much about them, so... It's kind of fun doing these new breweries, not knowing anything about the, the beers and just kind of checking them out. Um, I do kind of, again, like this, or like last night, I wish I would have looked up to see what kind of bourbon barrels these were, uh, eight, this was aged in. So, wow, this pours dark AF. And just like the last one, oh, this one actually is gonna give us a nice little finger or so of head. Uh, pitch black in the glass. It was fairly dark um, pouring it. It's got a little bit of that red twinge at the bottom. Yeah, finger of just marshmallowy, fluffy, khaki head. I am guessing this is going to be very, very barrel forward considering it was three years barrel aged, depending on what kind of barrels it was aged in. So let's shove our fat nose in this one, see what it's got. This is extremely, as I expected, uh, heavily like woody charred oak. And not a whole lot. There's like um, a bit of roast, but the barrel is definitely like dominating. Um, this has like, uh, it's like Baker's, is it Baker's cocoa? The one that's like bitter and doesn't really smell sweet. I think that's what it is. It's got like that chocolatey thing, but it's not like milk chocolate. It's not sweet chocolate. It's not desserty. It's, I think it's like Baker's cocoa or whatever that you, you know, you cook with. Um, it's more of that, but just tons of barrel character char oak uh a little bit of like vanilla but not really sweet the last last night's beer was very desserty sweet decadent this is just more like roasty um like woody charry stout there's a little bit of like kind of coffee um coming off of that just i think from like the roasted malts that they're using but yeah tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of barrel <laughs> just so much like wood that's what she said Let's go and taste it. Nick, cheers. Thank you, sir. This, much like last night, lots of dark fruit. I didn't smell any of that. And there is a killer uh, vanilla sweetness on the finish of that. You know what's crazy? For as woody as it smells, it doesn't taste crazy... Um, like I've said before, sometimes, uh, with, uh, like long aged whiskey or some barrel aged stouts, it kind of feels like you're, you have a toothpick in your mouth. Like after you eat dinner and you have a toothpick in your mouth and it sits on your tongue, it has like that toothpick woody taste. Um, I was expecting a lot of that and it's not, uh, as crazy as I thought it was going to be that roast that we were smelling. Um, it's there on the finish, but I think it plays well with the, uh, the, the, like the dark fruits that you're tasting, like that sweetness and the roast, like balance. Uh, out together very well and again with this one this one does not drink boozy it doesn't feel like there's there's not like a, a spirit bite to it a um, little bit of warmth in my chest but for 13 what do we say 13 percent, 12 percent. what is this 13 percent, right for being a 13 percent beer it doesn't like it doesn't get after you which is nuts it is just crazy how like charred oak that smells without tasting it I don't th think this one's as chewy as the stout last night, but again, three years in a 
bourbon barrel, I think that kind of takes away from like the viscosity of it, right? I don't know if that's true. I don't know the science behind it. Um, but yeah, the more this is sat in the glass and warmed up a bit, that, that roast comes out and it gives a cool like coffee um, vibe to it. This is really good. Um, I think I enjoyed last night's stout a little bit more just because there was so, I love fudgy stouts. I love decadent, desserty, um, heavily fudgy stouts. And I think because my first barrel aged uh, stout experience was Bourbon County and that beer is very, very fudgy. Um, this has, like I said, that Baker's kind of cocoa chocolatey thing, but it's not desserty. And that's not to say it's bad, just as a preference. I think I preferred the other one more just because of that sweetness. Maybe I'm a beatist kind of a stout guy. I don't know. I didn't think I was a pastry boy, but apparently I am. As far as like loving, 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 holy shit, this stout's amazing. This is a really, really good beer. Um, I just think my preference for these massive barrel aged stouts is for it to be more pastry. I didn't realize that. Maybe it's something new since I started drinking whiskey. I like I like very fruity whiskeys uh, over like rye or like um, like heavily oaky uh, whiskeys. I like fruity, so maybe I like fruity stocks too. Fruity kind of dude. How dare you? Again, though, for not knowing anything about this brewery, I mean, no idea. Hype. I mean, this could be a super hype beer, and I don't know. Just taking this for what it is, like, oh, I'm trying a brewery's imperial or yeah, barrel aged imperial style for the first time. This is really fucking good. Um, this is a good beer. Um, if you enjoy oaky, more roasty kind of coffee um, barrel aged stouts over the super sweet stouts, this would be the stout that you'd want. This is really, really good. I'm glad I got to drink this. I want to read more and learn more about Penrose. Um, because if they're making barrel aged stouts, it tastes as good, and they have the means to barrel aged stuff for three years, like they gotta be making another good beer, right? So, um, yeah, really, really dig this one. So that is Double Barrel Caves from Penrose in Geneva, Illinois. Don't know where Geneva is, but maybe my boy Matt will chime in. Maybe he knows about this. He's an Illinois beer guy. He knows about all the Illinois beer. So, uh, if you guys have had this one, let me know what you thought. I think it's great. Nick, I appreciate you sharing it. So that is it. Another stout review in the books. We've got more coming. See you guys soon. Cheers. Thank you for coming behind the bar in the arcade, all that shit. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse who I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe.